Jacob. Get over it. Get over it. Matthew Jacob. I had a dream. At 10 years age, of winning an Olympics medal. Now, how many of you know who Jesse Owens is? Yeah, the Olympic sensation. He was my hero. The school athletic meets. My first step towards that Olympics medal. The 100 meter dash. On your mark, get set, go! I ran in full steam and I finished the last. Not just finished the last, I was panting like a steam engine. I was out of breath and I collapsed at the finish line. My every attempt to run ended similarly and I realized the hard truth that I couldn't run. My dream? Well, some of you may know that I haven't won an Olympics medal <laughs> yet. Contest chair, judges, fellow Toastmasters. I've done many things in life, good and bad. But one thing I never attempted was running. It was a deep rooted belief that I couldn't run. Even in college, I did not even uh, run after girls. I only walked behind them. <laughs> Two years back, my friend Bipin showed me an advertisement, Spice Coast Marathon. And he said, let's sell a marathon. <laughs> Big joke, Bipin. At 10 years, I could not run 100 meters. At 55 years, you expect me to run 21 kilometers? But Pippin was serious and motivating. He told me about a 103-year-old man who runs marathon. A woman who completes a marathon on a wheelchair. And he said, you know something? It's your mind that is holding you back. I'm sure your body is capable of running. It's all in your mind. Get over it. He said, why don't you join me for a trial run around the Kalur Stadium? One round, one kilometer. Now, mostly to convince women that I couldn't run, I agreed. <laughs> he had a condition. Promise me that you won't stop running till you complete one round. We started running. At about 200 meters, I said, Vivin, come on, let's stop this nonsense. But Vivin said, no, you promised me. You have to continue. Come on, man, it's all in your mind. Get over it. Now, to keep my word, I had to continue. And I somehow completed that one round. At that point, I noticed that my legs were not hurting the way I thought they would. I was not panting the way I thought I would. I was not exhausted. And Vivian said, let's continue. I continued another two rounds. Three kilometers. Unbelievable. That was a great awakening. My body could actually do it. It was in my mind. And that day, I got over it. Thanks to women. I registered for the 21 kilometers half marathon. I practiced daily. The day of the marathon, I reached early and I went and stood right in the front. The race started. After two minutes, I looked back and I found 2,000 people behind me. You know what a feeling it was? Uh, after about five minutes, <laughs> 500 of them were ahead of me. 20 minutes, uh, all 2,000 were ahead of me. 30 minutes, I couldn't find any, anyone even ahead of me. <laughs> They all went far ahead and I was running a marathon all alone through those never-ending trails. After running for some time, I started feeling, why am I doing this? And I was able to stop when this most motivating of thoughts occurred to me. I had to complete that course to reach the place where I parked my car. <laughs> 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 I had to continue. I ran, I walked, I crawled, I rolled. <laughs> Finally, after 4 hours, 21 minutes, 33 seconds, I completed 
Lord there is just behind the pregnant woman <laughs> as the last person to complete the race the last person I felt like a huge failure I sat on a bench with my head down a failure a loser useless that's when a cute little girl a volunteer came up to me smiled at me and said congratulations and she handed me a medal the medal read finisher 21 kilometers hey. that's when it hit me i finished 21 kilometers i who could not run 100 meters at 10 years completed 21 kilometers i was not a failure i was not a loser i was not useless i was a winner i am a winner i wore the medal and walked with my head high friends winning Winning is not about running faster than someone else. Winning is about running faster than how you ran yesterday. Winning is not only about being better than someone else. Winning is about being better than what you were yesterday. Winning is about doing something that you could not do yesterday. And that day, I did not become the best, but I did my best. And that made me a winner. Now, what is holding you back? Is there anything that you would like to do and you think you are not capable of? <coughs> Start on it. Make an attempt. Take that first step. You may not become the best, but you can surely do your best, and that <coughs> will make you a winner. It's all in your mind. Get over it. Understand?